So we were back here in Le Mans and I saw that uh, in the test you were driving uh, your own car with the next year's tire, so smaller. Can you, can you talk a little bit about uh, the changes that will ha be happening for next year? Yes, right. And I was here at the pre-test and it was a nice experience again. Um, I was with the first car. Was the, uh, first of all, the car was exactly the same as uh, the other three, yeah, you know, the racing car. Really the only difference, as you said, there was a narrow tire for uh, development together with the car and to collect more data as possible to be prepared to build up a really good car for uh, next year. Uh, next year will be everything new. Exactly, that's that's the reason my tires and uh, there's a lot of work to do. So we already had a couple of tests for the pre test. And here at the pre-test we mission brings uh, a new compound, a new casing, which makes a good uh, step forward. Unfortunately, uh, we could use the slick tires just in the last, at the very last uh, hour of the test, so we lost a lot of time. But we collect uh, quite, good, uh, quite a good data and uh, really positive. So for sure, still a lot of work to do. We're still far away from uh, to have a, to have a big potential. But we need more tires on track and uh, hopefully we can evaluate uh, the, the tires are usually smaller than what is on the, the car that Audi will be racing this week. And uh, yeah, this is a, a 2013 spec car that. You were driving so heavier than than what we we'll see next year. Does that make it harder than on those tires? Is that a better test where it's more? Well, I can tell you on driving uh, feeling, you don't feel uh, different on weight. And the biggest things and the only things to feel is uh, just narrow. It's uh, quite a lot, 50 mils less. So exactly the same LMP2 tire size, which uh, for our uh, car downforce and. Uh, maximum load, especially in high speed, it's uh, quite difficult at the moment. The tires are really stressed. You get stressed quite easily. And durability for sure is uh, one of the biggest issues. But uh, as, as I see in the, in the British, the step we made already, uh, I can think quite positive for the future and for uh, until the winter where we, we continue the, the program. So, for sure it's not easy on the driver's side because it makes the car a bit more sensible and the drivability, drivability window is smaller. So it's easier to overdrive or make some mistakes. But uh, on the other side, it's interesting to, to develop a new concept to, to improve the it's, it's the consumption shows that we and don't even know everything, all the performance uh, all around yeah. and to no, one it's direction to the future. They, 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 and FIA and R1. Yeah. With the current car, uh, the basic uh, things is I'm getting so much into technology, I'll speak more about the current way, car versus I guess so what we might see in the future. With those smaller tires, I would imagine that might help as they design the bodywork, perhaps less of a blind spot than the, as I understand the, the R18 now. The blind spot mainly comes from the, the, the sheer size of the tires. Um, so is that something you, you think might should be smaller? I mean, Sure, we are going to the direction to help also our visibility, but I believe we will not make a huge gap. It will be just a smaller uh, benefit, let's say. For sure, also on this uh, on this point, there is a lot of to, to gain, a lot of to improve. But that's so, uh, also about the FIA. This is uh, have to. It makes us more bigger rules, maybe a bigger change on the rules. You can That's the way they want, and uh, we have to drive like that. So, I mean, uh, we, at one point we get used to with that. And for sure, uh, still always the same problem as we 
since we're using the R18, the closed car. But uh, for everybody, it's the same. So uh, there's the, the uh, first. We have to live with it. In your experience as a driver, is that a fairly considerable amount of weight that will come out of the car for next year? Uh, do you think that that will bring the, the, the window, uh, the drivability window on these tires back a little bit closer to what you have now, given that you're not pushing as much weight around? Sometimes you, when you slow down, can you repeat the first sure, part? Yeah. So the, 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 the car next year will be much lighter. So, always have to so this the only I don't know how much for <laughs> no. drivers. <laughs> So will that? I'm wondering if the, you mentioned the the drivability window on the car now is is quite a bit different from the car that will be racing. So as you pull that weight out, will that add it, add back into it to make it a little bit more easily driven, or do you think next year maybe? Uh, I I think the the weight of the car or general weight will not be so different. Uh, but the biggest um, effect is the tire, tire size. And I can tell you at the moment, uh, it makes the, I mean, the window, driver window or drivability window much, much narrow. Either you pass for sure. Or you don't. And sincerely, I don't see any at the moment. Now in July, in June, it will go through. I don't see any big step forward on, uh, on the other side, like uh, for uh, weight distribution or general weight or these kind of things. So, uh, for sure, the new car will be made by this tire. So, for sure, we will we'll, we'll, we'll make the, car, uh, the life much easier and everything will be more balanced all together. But I expect uh, only on the car, we this drivability we window we try a bit, to have as many a bit smaller as, next I mean, year. Uh, That's for sure. Yeah. But as many your lap at least in, in the ranking seems, yeah. uh, your, your, your fastest lap in the test seems, seems to be within, our third eye. you know, the pace of, of the field. What was your take on the times we were able to get out of the, to get the, uh, the new tire set up? Uh, sincerely, we didn't, I didn't check so much the lap times. I was focused on the on the schedule. Yeah, the water comes out, yeah. And also, especially, we yeah, had a yeah, really few times at the end for the sleep. But uh, yeah, at the end, I was pretty, uh, but pretty happy I think it's with the result. For next year, the, the car and, will uh, be narrow, yeah, if I see the lap times, it's not too bad compared to the others. Uh, the I didn't get the, the, the clear lap also, so our car will for sure, there is from the quite a good potential. I think the car is now the new But if I have to. It's not if I have to tell you the difference on drivability, it's more look like a quite big. I mean, now it's more driving the, the more like a go cool car oh, yeah. on a high speed yeah. with a high frequency steering activity, and that makes you um, gives away a bit the feeling, like a bit less thrust in, in the car. Is there more movement then in the chassis? Uh, not a big movement, but more about the high speed. Yeah, but you can. And you also can because see, like, you know, the, the, the rear is like the, 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 the reaction of the cars on the yeah, main thing. Where is it breaking? Is it breaking? Uh, really yeah, the main, the main difference are. You know, but the for sure. Car. And with the old adapts, Maybe you know, then also the team the expect uh, a bit so bigger you, gap. You know, the, the, in the, the Ferrari, that you might uh, like since you we are, have to watch it's out. not our aim uh, at the moment. So sure. It's just to find a, <laughs> but, um, a proper casing yeah, so that can this is something that you have to do extra, can react like and like can homework, uh, absorb all, all, all the load that uh, uh, this, yes, this car creates, which is huge. Also, there are